Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Click like so that you can have all the latest information regarding my company and also SQL accounting system. The video will also show daily in my Facebook. If you want to search previous video, you can go to youtube.com slash syntax technologies browse the video and you can get all the videos starting from day one which is pre-installation setting installation and so on until up to date in today's lesson i'm going to continue with sql accounting system purchase module purchase invoice Purchase invoice is the invoice that sent by your supplier to you, so it is considered an internal document. What you need to do is just click at new, select your supplier by typing their name. If when you change their name in, it's not appear, it's because the highlight is not at company name. At this case, it's at currency. Just click at the tab key, so it will jump from column to column. Let it check the company name, Maxis. Simply go to the item code. You can always change the quantity and also the unify directly. So click add. Add another item. When you see column, what you can do is right click any column header, go to view chooser, and you can. And feel that you are required for example more description where you can key in additional information regarding a particular item just close and save just save it then you can click at the preview button select any template you like you get your purchase invoice as I mentioned purchase invoice is sent by your supplier so you do not require to print out if you want to do so you can just print and convert it to pdf file directly so outside is a listing of purchase invoice the first row is empty is because it's for you to do searching if you want to search a purchase invoice page too so you can see you can get the invoice that I want so you can use date, code, company name, and others to search. This is also column. Column means you can do field user. Okay. So at any point of time, after you do the dragging and you want to always refer this format of listing, you right click again, then you can go to grid layout, save layout. Give a name, let's say A. Take a set this layout as default. Save. So next time when you go up, come in again, the color will still be there. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with information. Thank you.